So if you play classical guitar, chances are you probably weren't inspired to go and pick it up after seeing it being used in a movie. At least not in the same way that John Mayer was inspired to pick up the guitar after seeing the movie Back to the Future. But in this video, I'm going to show you a few times where classical guitar actually was used in movies and even talk to you a little bit about the backstory behind some of the clips. Anyway, welcome back to another episode of For the Classical Guitarist. If you're new here, I hope that you like what you see, you stick around, and you consider subscribing to the channel. Anyway, let's get started. So the first clip that I want to start with is from the movie Crossroads, just because it's one that a lot of people seem to know. So let's knock it out of the way first. So the piece that he's playing is a rendition of the Rana al Turk by Mozart. Now I'll talk about it in more detail in just a few, but just in case some of you guys haven't seen it, here's the clip. Now, as you might notice, a lot of these shots are taken from, um, yeah, they're taken from pretty far away. So if you think about it, it makes it pretty easy to hide someone that doesn't know how to play guitar that well. But what about some of these? Now, this piece actually isn't commonly done in classical guitar, and there's really only one arrangement out there that I know that's pretty common, and that would be the arrangement by Bill Kanengeiser. We'll get more to that later. Now these close-ups look pretty convincing, and the reason why is because this was an actual guitarist playing it, and the guitarist playing it is the same one as the guitarist who recorded it, and that would be the same person I mentioned just a moment ago, Bill Kanengeiser. So Bill Kanengeiser, if you don't know him, is one of the leading classical guitarists today. Not only is he a great soloist, but he's also a member of, probably in my personal opinion, one of the best guitar quartets, the LAGQ. So it's really cool that not only did he get to be involved with the movie, but he got to be in the movie as well as the one playing the guitar for the close-ups. And it's a great way for people that haven't ever heard classical guitar to hear a very good example of classical guitar. Anyway, let's go on to the next one. So this next one is a little bit more modern. I actually didn't know about it until somebody told me about it over on Instagram. And that movie would be A Christmas Prince, A Roller Wedding. Now, the clip in here is very, very short, but I did want to include it because this one, like I said, is a more modern movie. It only came out in 2018. So it's great that in even these more modern movies, we're still seeing classical guitar being used. Anyway, let's check the clip out quickly and I'll tell you a little bit of the backstory I know. As you can see, it's a fancy wedding, so of course they're gonna have classical guitar. In case you don't know, the piece that he's playing is Spanish Romance, also known as Romanza, also known as Romance for the Guitar, and a bunch of other names. This piece, I'm surprised that they use this one because even though classical guitar is pretty used in weddings, as someone who's played a handful of weddings as a classical guitarist, I've actually never been asked to play this one during a wedding. I've been asked to do it during cocktail hours and dinner receptions, but never as part of the ceremony itself. So it's an interesting choice. Anyway, all I can tell you about this clip is the guitarist that's playing in the movie, as well as the one who probably recorded this, is a guy named Alexandru Stefanoi. I'm definitely saying that wrong, so Alexandru, if you're watching this, I apologize. But anyway, yeah, it's cool that you got to be involved in the movie, and hopefully we start seeing classical guitar being used in more modern movies. Anyway, next movie. Okay, so this next movie is one that somebody else also told me over on Instagram, and that would be the movie Kramer vs. Kramer. And yeah, it's an old movie. It comes back from 1979. And the guitar clip is very, very quick, but I do think it's interesting in terms of how it was being used. I just want you to know I'm taking you along. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's terrific. Anyway, so as you might notice, the guitar playing as well as the mandolin playing looks pretty convincing in this one as well. And the reason why is because, of course, it's an actual musician playing it. The guitarist in this clip would be the guitarist Fred Hand. Fred Hand, I do not know personally, but I do have a number of friends who studied with him and have great things to say about him. So it's really cool that you gotta be involved in the movie. So quickly before we go on, I do want to say one thing about the mandolinist because he is a classical guitarist, at least kind of, not in this clip. But the guy's name is Scott Cuny. If you guys don't know him as a guitarist, you definitely know him for things that he's played on. He is probably one of the guitarists who's played on most of the big Broadway shows. And it's just an interesting fact they included him in this movie along with Fred Hand, just playing music on the streets like you might see in New York City. Anyway, let's go on to the next clip. So this next clip is from another pretty popular movie, and that would be the movie Robocop. Now, this isn't the one that a lot of people seem to know from back in the day, but this is actually the more modernized one from 2014. And the reason why is because this one includes classical guitar. So let's take a look. Okay. 
Okay, so the first thing I'll say is, yeah, definitely an interesting piece selection. Of course, it's the Concerto de Aranjuez, the second movement. Concerto de Aranjuez, second movement. Beautiful piece. But it's interesting that this is the one that he chose him to play, especially because this isn't really a solo guitar piece. But let's talk about what's happening in the clip itself. So first thing I want to say is, yeah, it definitely looks pretty convincing. But the reason why it's convincing is besides all that cool CGI and stuff that makes his hand look like a robot, it is a real person playing this, obviously, and it is a classical guitarist playing it. The guitarist's name is a guy named Rafi Altonian. I apologize because I'm definitely saying that wrong, but I do want to add in that me and Rafi actually connected a few times, and he's told me two interesting facts to share with you guys. Number one is that when they were filming this, they actually insisted on having a live classical guitarist play this as opposed to just using a recording and having some actor dub it. So that's pretty cool, and that's obviously the reason why he was brought in to play this clip. And the other thing that he said is apparently they chose this piece in particular because it's actually serving as a love letter as well as a dedication, I guess, to the director's wife because this was her favorite piece. So it's pretty cool that someone who doesn't play classical guitar, one of their favorite pieces of music is from the classical guitar repertoire. So this final one, if you guys didn't guess it already from the thumbnail, this one is from the movie School of Rock. Now, I do want to say a few things before we start. This movie was definitely one of the movies that I first saw Class Guitar in, so I'd almost want to say it was kind of like my Back to the Future, but not really. Anyway, let's see the clip and then I'll tell you what I think about it. Okay, so my first comment is actually going to be on what they're playing. Now, let me go ahead and pause it right here and take a look at what it says. If you can see what it says, it says Concerto de Oranjuez, which should be the same thing as the one they were playing in Robocop, but it sounds a bit different. <laughs> So as a guitarist, this is one that kind of always got to me because it does say it right clearly there and you think they could at least have put in the music so it sounds kind of like the original, especially because if you look at the guitar player's hands in this clip right here. You can tell it's not him playing. You know, it's not the end of the world, but it is kind of disappointing that this is one movie is one of the few that was really centered around music as a whole. And the one time they showed classical guitar, they showed something that most classical guitarists wouldn't recognize. But either way, it's still one of my favorite movies and definitely one of the movies that got me into playing guitar and really into music in the first place. So I can't hate it too much. Anyway, that's all for this video. Hope you guys liked what you saw and hope that you guys got something out of this. If you guys have other movie suggestions that use classical guitar in the movies, definitely feel free to drop them down below. I intentionally didn't include TV shows in this list because that's going to be a separate video, possibly in the next few weeks. So stay tuned for that and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And to anybody who is currently subscribed, thank you so much. As you guys might be able to tell from here, or if you scroll down a little bit more, maybe the number has changed. We're very close to that 1,000 subscriber mark if we haven't hit it already. So thank you, and I do want to keep making more videos for you about classical guitar and just things in general. So stay tuned. Anyway, that's all for now, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.